So as I said, we will now install this fixed version. We just go to builds and download the stuff and we will install it into so uh, on my computer it's stored in, in program files epic games we underscore 5.1 engine plugins animation and there we just save the zip file and then we go into this folder mm, it's here and as we see we are now having a new zip file which we can extract so we just say extract extract here and we should get a new folder i also would recommend you guys that you zip the old version or the the version that comes with the engine just to the zip file so that we basically archive it because we will delete now this folder and we just use this folder so folder name does not take care on engine is very smart when it comes to this stuff so we also can compare this with uh, beyond compare it's a very nice tool and we can press ctrl a compare contents binary compare comparison so as you see those files which we have seen before here are basically the changes i did for you so it's there and as we see there is not much change sure the binaries are different of, co of course they are compiled on my machine so it's a bit different and also we have the version difference which is here i just increased it to version 2 so that we don't so that we know something has changed so far i know epic did not yet update this file oh this one is also different i don't know if something will break but oh no it's it's the order which is different it's the order so here's also control lick so yeah, th that's something that was changed by the editor, so which is also perfectly fine. Seems not to be an issue. Um, also, the intermediate folder is a bit different, so don't wonder when we, where is it? I think it's the include files. So they are a bit different. Of course, that's the folder I had while creating this version. And yeah, but, but th that's perfectly fine um it should not break anything as i said it's provided as it is so if, if it breaks something let me know and maybe we can find a solution but yeah that's that's how i use it so we have archived this folder so we can delete it basically also make sure that you don't have unreal engine started i will just rename this one here as well to get the same version and yeah, that's basically is it. Now it's fixed. <laughs> let's let's see if if this is really the case. So let me open the project again and see how we can now work with Unreal Engine. So let's open the retargeter again and let's retarget the animations we had before and see if something is fixed or not so do, 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 where is it content so we we target the sweep animation so when we export this now we should have a new checkbox we map reference assets so we can do this and use this if we if we don't check we will just don't check this one and just export it that way so there's the third ama animation and here we have additive so it's set to no additive so that's one issue is fixed right so second one is if we go here export again and we just check this checkbox and we then have two animations so open the ones so as we see it's perfectly fine with the hands there's no intersection anymore and also it retargeted both animations for us the base pose and the additive animation so that's very convenient and also let me try to use the transition animation or transition animation so we export this as well we just remap reference assets there should be no one it's just one so where's this transition animation so it's basically this one 
So, and as we see here, that's the issue we had before. So, let me go to the ELS folder, character assets, say transition. Transition R, yeah, R. So, let's compare the curves. And, guys, it's fixed now you should have a decent retargeting experience so it's enable transition foot locking l foot locking right footstep mask footstep sound so it should it should work now so if we let, let, let's do a full test <laughs> let's do a full test so we we target the animations again from als and we go to character assets mannequin right click Retag and duplicate assets. So everything is set up for us in this UE4 to UE5 mini. Thank you, Epic. This, it's, it's really a huge time saver now. And we create a new folder, which we say test two. Use test two for exporting stuff. We retarget stuff. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can save everything. It just takes a few seconds. My machine is very fast. So, we are opening blueprint and we select this one and just set this one here compile save and guys we can now play the game so that's basically the animation blueprint and it's working quite fine the best test for als is the following press the v key and then jump or sprint go into slow motion and jump then you still keep moving forward that's the best one and you should not see any weird yeah leg rotations if the curves are not correctly set up or the yeah ik bones are not correctly constrained that's also what we will cover in this session that's not set up for from epic sadly but i have a yeah solver that solves the issue for us and it will properly constrain the IK bones. So let me show this to you as well. So we can stop here the game. So for example, we can just look at this animation here and we make this a little bit smaller and go to character, bones, all hierarchy. So as we see, the virtual bones and IK bones are correctly constrained. Yeah, that's something we will cover in, in another video, not in this one, but let me show you one more uh, thing. We can test ELS if everything is working as expected. For that, we say current camera location and we play the game as well. So we get here. So landing system is working. I have not set up the mantling animations but what i wanted to show you is this one here so we see the food ik system is working quite well in els and we can also press the t key to see the traces and so and here we see it's it's a line trace which is traced down until the ground is hit and then it yeah basically aligns the foot in the animation blueprint so you can also see here is the trace hit result. So yeah, guys, as we see, the fixed version seems to be working quite fine and we can just retarget now our complex animation systems like LS in a very special way so that it's very smooth. As you see, it's just a right click if everything is correctly set up and then we can just use our custom characters with our complex systems. So we will end now the session here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I really hope that everything is so smooth for you as well. Once you have those fixes, hopefully Epic will merge them soon once the pull request is there and reviewed and hopefully in the next version we will not have these issues anymore. And yeah, I would say see you in the next one and all the success to you. Goodbye guys.